Fagan here from Muay Thai Guy with pro fighter and training partner Chris Masseri here at Stockade Martial Arts. We're going to go over three different ways Ernesto Hoops uses the liver shot and the hook to set up his powerful low kick. So the first thing that he does is uh, he just uses the hook. Now the hook he throws with full power though, because if he throws it lightly, then it's obviously not going to really distract him or deter him from moving forward. If I throw this hook with power though, ideally all of his weight is going to be on his lead foot. So this way he's not going to really be able to check it. Okay? So if I throw this hook with power, now all my weight is shifted and my, my hips are turned the other way. So this way I can use all that counter rotation to come with a hard, powerful low kick. Okay? So the first combo is just a simple hook, low kick. All right? Uh, the second one that he likes to do is if he's out of range for the hook and he doesn't want to leave himself open, he'll use the cross more like a slap to just kind of distract his opponent so he can set up that liver shot. So if he's on the outside like here, he'll lunge forward with his right hand. Okay? If you notice in some of the videos, he doesn't even punch with it. He just slaps with it. He'll slap with it, set up this body hook, and then come with the low kick. All right? So one more time. He slaps, he gets a good angle, so this way he can land that powerful liver shot, and then he comes with the low kick. One more time. Boom. All right? And probably uh, his most brutal combo is when he starts with up top and goes to the body. So the hook up top is more for a setup. He doesn't over rotate too much because then he's going to take too much time to rotate back. So he'll throw this hook up top, bring his uh, heel back down to the ground and throw a powerful body shot. And then from here, he'll come with the leg kick. So he'll throw hook, hook, leg kick, okay? And another reason why this works so well is because if I'm throwing the hook low kick and he starts to get the timing down, what he's going to do is he's going to start checking the kick off the hook low kick. All right, and that's no fun. So in order to mess up his timing a little bit, I'll double up with the hook. And then by the time he comes down, all his weight on that foot, is no, uh, there's going to be no way for him to counter it. All right? So I'll show you from the other angle. So the first one is just a simple hook low kick. The second one, he throws across, set up the liver shot on low kick. And the last one, he'll double up on the left side, and then come with the low kick. All right, those are three ways Ernesto Hoops uses the hook and other punch combinations to set up his powerful low kick. I hope you enjoyed that video of the three kicking techniques. If you want more power, speed, and accuracy in all your kicks, make sure to check out these three killer kicking drills that are part of Nakamura Nation that I know is going to enhance your training and make you that much more of a powerful kicker.